All right, let's go through and look at some of the uh, some of the interesting things about NTFS. First thing we want to do is start center, we'll open the disk. Let's do a logical. doing is it's looking at everything, traversing the drive, um, parsing it logically, okay? And so if we want to, we can see that these are the files here in the root directory, the files and the uh, folders. And once we get down to here, you notice that we have the systems files. The master file table, the log file. And then all the other files that are located within the root directory. Okay, what we're going to do is to do something interesting to see if we can create a file that is resident. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pump Notepad and we're going to create a file and we're going to call it. Okay, diving USA. And now we're going to save this. I'm going to save it just as a, uh, let's call it MFT demo.txt. Okay. And now, unfortunately, because I did that first, I'm going to have to go back and actually take a new snapshot of this. So let's go back here. Start center. We're going to open it again because we've just written a new file to the hard drive. And so I doubt if Cave Diving USA previously was located anywhere on the hard drive. So now you're wondering how many times does Cave Diving USA show up logically, or excuse me, actually the searches will be physically on the hard drive. And so what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to search for the text Cave Diving USA. Okay? And we'll limit the searches to 50. There won't be that many, but there'll be some. So I'm going to have to stop this uh, recording for a while because this can take about 20 minutes to go through the hard drive or longer. Uh, so we don't want to just keep that on the screen. So I'm going to start searching. And then I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we've done the uh, search and I got bored because it only was halfway through and it was taking like 30 or 40 minutes. So let's see um, what we've got here. Here we've got, um, there were two search hits for searching for Cave Diving USA. File name in which the uh, file, the information was found was the log file and the master file table entry as we would have assumed. And so if we want to go look at the master file table entry here, there we see we've got Cave Diving USA. Recall that that was the, um, that was the actual content of the file. That's not the file name. There's the file name right here, MFT Demo. And notice that this is in, um, in what format? In Unicode, it doesn't show the dots there, but notice there's a space in there. So MFT demo was the name of the file. Cave Diving USA, because it was a text file, it stores it exactly as it's supposed to. Cave Diving USA, okay. And now where else would it show up but in the log file? So here it's in the log file entry. Notice that each log file entry starts with RCRD and then the um, parentheses, and each one is 4K in length. And it only found it once. It's interesting because when we've done this before, sometimes we find it uh, two times in here. And so it appears that the first time would be that the fact that indicating that it's going to write the contents of this file out. And of course, it's got the contents right here. And uh, other times, we'll actually find two log file entries, one before it's written and one that's after it's written. But for some reason, it only wrote it once. Because in, uh, NTFS is a closed file system, that is, there's no access to the source code that um, the, we can only speculate as to how this log file is working. So 
anyway, that's the way that worked. So that's just something that uh, you can play around with and see how many times that um, you know, let's say copying and pasting uh, something or copying a file or deleting a file. How many times does that file name or how many times did that uh, the contents of a file show up in the log file or in the master file table? So anyway, that was a brief demo of uh, some of the nuances of uh, NTFS.